Now the question is, when it comes to a Kirby demonstration, is it all smoke and mirrors? Let's jump in and have a look. Now don't forget everything you in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to find those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Kirby demonstration or door-to-door -door sales that you get. And a lot of people reckon it's smoke and mirrors. And what Kirby tend to use is they use a dirt meter. There is a couple of channels out there in the past that have said this makes it pick up a lot more. It expands the airflow, makes it pick up a lot easier. When I used to demonstrate for Kirby, they used to say that it reduced that airflow by around 30%. 30%. Is that true? Well, the only way to check it out is to try it out and do a CFM test. Now, as you know, I've done a sand test in the past and it proved that the dirt meter picked up less than a bag. In this one, I thought I'd do a CFM test to see what the actual difference is. So let's dive straight into it. To make it fair, we're going to be using a recently purchased Kirby from July of 2022. I've well, still here to set up, brand new bag, practically new Kirby, brush rolls left off. We're gonna run this for around 10 seconds with that bag in, and then we're gonna connect the dirt meter and see what the difference is. So stick around the end to see what the final results are. Now to stop any controversy from mathematics and people that blind you is mathematical equations in the day. We're gonna be using two dirt pads first, and then I'll be using one. The reason we use two is because it does simulate the thickness of the bag, but also it's a filter, it's a double filter to filter any dust normally when you're vacuuming. So we'll start off with two, and then we'll reduce it to one. So we'll run it for 10 seconds with two filters in the dirt meter. And now we'll just take one of the filters out. And we're gonna be just one. Now don't forget everything you in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so let's jump into the results. CFM like Kirby seemed just a little bit low. It's normally around around 50 mark, but we did get with a bag, and it was a brand new bag as you've seen. The Avalier was pushing out 140.319 CFM. So then we ran it with the dirt meter, and I don't normally put two pads in, I think when I demonstrate for Kirby, then we put three in. So it does reduce it, and I will show you by how much. Now we're not gonna put a piece of chewing gum in between those filters like they do in the States and eat it. <laughs> I'm not that brave. But that's just to show the efficiency and that you can eat that, that chewing gum because you've got so many filters there. So with two filters in that dirt meter, the CFM dropped down to 72.819, which means it reduced it by around 48%. So that's nearly half, nearly half of the CFM reduced on that Kirby. So when you're having a Kirby demonstration, if they have two pads in there, you've got an around 670 CFM. So it's pretty close to what a plastic vacuum is. And it's still getting all that dirt out of the carpet. If we put one pad in, yes, it, it puts a CFM up a little bit more. Obviously all the dirt and grime is gonna be going through that filter. It's gonna be filtering correctly with that one pad alone. So that's why they don't do that in a demonstration. So with the one pad in there, CFM drops to 91.93 CFM. So it drops around 35%. So you still get reduced airflow. So it just goes to show you've had a demonstration and they've used the dirt meter. It's a fair test against your vacuum. And when you do have a bag fitted to that Kirby, it's gonna clean your house a lot more efficiently than a dirt meter. And I have discovered that in the past when trying to use a zip brush, as I did use in a previous video, and the zip brush barely spins because you haven't got the airflow compared to using it with a bag. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, comment down below. Also, thanks for watching, happy cleaning, and I'll catch you in the next one.